Yo, 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 what's good? Hello, this is Kay Cox, music producer, drummer, and occasional DJ. And in this video, we're not going to talk about music. No, we're not. We're going to talk about health. Why? Because health is wealth. Health is important. And if you're not taking care of your body, how can you do your passion? Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video for new content, vlogs, music, and laughs. For those that have been following me on my social media handles, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook page, you know I haven't been posting anything as far as music content. No new beats, finger drumming videos, vlogs, crazy edits, nothing, nothing at all. Why? I was diagnosed with sudden deafness. Yes, that's a thing. It's a very scary thing, but it's very treatable. So no worries. So let's talk about what is sudden deafness. First off, here's an official Google doctor's note. If you want to pause the video, take a, take a pause, I'll put it right here, somewhere right here. Here is my description of sudden deafness. You're deaf in one ear. That's really what it is. There's no sound coming in one side and there's all the sound coming in another side. Deaf in one ear. It's not cool. It's very displeasing. So what causes sudden deafness? Nobody knows. Doctors can't explain it. There is no real way why it happens, but it does happen to people. It's, it's kind of common. I've talked to many different people and they said most of their musician friends get sudden deafness or like older senior people get sudden deafness. And I'm still relatively young and I got sudden deafness, but there is no pain, no pain at all. So it's very treatable. All you have to do is go to the doctor, take some prescribed drugs in, in about a week or like nine days you should be back to normal. So now it's story time, my condition and my experience of sudden deafness. So it's early March now, last month in February, about mid February, early February, I was doing my usual routine, you know, making beats, making content, and sound wasn't coming into my left ear, like clearly. I would turn my volume up and I would turn it down, turn it back up in my headphones, turn it back down, and it would go in and out. Okay, maybe something wrong with the headphones. All right, next day, doing my fitness exercise and the sound just turns off on my left ear, turns off. There's no sound in my left ear, like the whole day, no sound. And I'm just thinking it's like air pressure coming in the subway, coming out of the tunnels, all of that. I was like, okay, it's just air pressure. So I tried to blow my nose, unclog my ear and nothing would work. The following day, same thing. No sound is coming in my left ear. And this time I have stomach pains, I get nausea. And I'm like, yo, what is this? Like I go to the clinic, they check my ears. They say, okay, maybe it's sudden death. We want to give you some ear tests. We can't confirm it yet. My let my right ear pass like flying colors. It can hear everything perfectly. My left ear, I can't hear anything at all. Even if the volume was really high, it came in very, very low. So the doctor at the clinic, he diagnosed me with sudden deafness in my left ear. And I was like, yo, what is this? I need my hearing. I need my ears. Like I need to hear this. Like with music, you need your ears. You need to hear. <laughs> so I wasn't freaking out when I was just like, really, now? So he gave me a doctor's note to go to the hospital. The next day I go to the hospital. Luckily I was able to get treated. I was able to get looked at without a reservation. With sudden deafness, you have to go and jump on it quick. You can't wait like next week or a couple of days. You have to just do it and you have to just treat it. There's a 30, 30, 30% chance of everything. 30% chance you recover. 30% chance that partial recovery and 30% chance that you get no recovery. It feels like you rode on a plane for hours and it's clogged. So luckily I acted fast, went to the hospital, gave me medicine for nine days. It's all these drugs, so much medicine. What the doctor told me was that rest. It's the, the most important thing, rest, rest, rest. Take the medicine, eat and rest. No music, nothing. My laptop stayed closed. I didn't even watch Netflix. I didn't watch TV, nothing. No sound, minimal sound, which was fine because I liked the silence. Emotionally, I was good. I just really, really missed music, but it did feel good to rest. As I started to take the medicine and the days started to progress, I could hear my left ear start to pop. It would get unclogged. One day I was like, okay, I can hear the wind passing my ear when I ride my bike. I know it sounds so crazy. I, I know it sounds like not important, but it's the little things you start to notice when something doesn't work. 
that you're so used to working. So I would hear the wind, cars driving by, people walking by. Like it started to gradually and gradually get better and better over time because I was taking the medicine, because I wasn't doing music, because I wasn't listening to anything and because I was resting. But now my status, I went to the hospital yesterday as a follow-up and I can hear everything super good. It's like normal. I think I, I, think I can hear better because the drugs, I don't know. <laughs> My left ear is perfect, my right ear is perfect. I passed all the tests, everything is good. Also, quick shout out to everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your prayers and for your, your blessings and for your positive energy and just thinking about me in my condition, in my current state. Thank you so much. I'm good now. It's, it's, it's cool to feel support, like it's cool. Like genuine support. So now we're gonna talk about things to do as a musician or as a music producer and you can't do your craft. You can't do what you love to do. My number one thing was marketing. I started looking up more videos of like how to market myself, how to market music production, how to market myself as a musician, how to market myself as an artist, just different marketing tools and techniques to implement and also take action on those marketing tips. I also did like email list. I grew my email list even more. I emailed more artists about, okay, I'm doing discount on beats. Also email music producers. Here's a free kit I have. Check out my website, discount on kits, sounds, presets. So essentially as a entrepreneur, and as a musician you got to make sure you have smaller umbrellas un in your world you want to have something to sustain yourself if something like your health condition goes down like I said before rest is important health is important taking care of your body and make sure you get some fitness in some exercise in like, like I said before sudden deafness is a real thing if you feel like your ears have been clogged consistently for days and days go see a doctor don't wait jump on it move fast and if you've been watching for this long Thank you. And here's my question to you. How to improve your hearing or what are some ways to prevent deafness or prevent hearing loss? I want to hear what you got to say in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And more music, most definitely more music and more content will be coming. Peace. Ciao.